with our Iron Man helmet and our Captain America shield, it is time for us to become the heroes we were always meant to be. I can't hold them up for much longer. Just keep firing. Okay, okay, just follow me, buddy. Here we go. Ah! Oh my goodness me. Ow, my hand. Dude, remind me to never get involved in an alien conflict again. Jeez. I mean, look at this thing, Guido. It's barely hanging on by a thread. Ugh. All right, look, buddy. There must be some way I can fix this thing. You should really go to the doctor. Uh, I think that's a terrible idea. You know I'm afraid of needles. No, let's try something a little bit different. Yeah, something like this. Bad idea. Nonsense, Guido. Don't worry. I am a professional. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh, oh my goodness. Hey, I think it worked. So, Guido, I guess we need to have this conversation. Why exactly did we suck so much against those aliens? We're adventurers. Alien invasions are supposed to be like nothing to us. They're supposed to be a walk in the park. Yet back there, through that portal, we got absolutely destroyed. My bad. Our weapons are simply not good enough. <laughs> oh, okay, buddy. Whatever you say. Look, I can tell you straight away that what you just said is grade A baloney. I was using the most powerful weapon in the entire multiverse, baby. My, uh, my fists. Hiya! Yep, multiple creatures over the years have fallen to these bad boys. Or perhaps the fists of the person that I've hired to deal with the dirty business for me. Look, regardless, my point remains. We shouldn't be defeated by a few pesky aliens. <sighs> but I guess you're right. Maybe we are simply not the heroes we thought we once were. Yes, nowadays I am more of a businessman, a supermodel. And you're just the same old Guido. Maybe we're simply not cut out to be heroes anymore. But I know who is. You see, one of the benefits of being here in the Rick and Morty dimension is that this is kind of a central hub for timey-wimey nonsense. Anyone who is anyone knows exactly where this place is, including some of the mightiest heroes of all, the Avengers. Does that mean I get to meet Batman? Ah, uh, no, Guido, that's the other group. Look, Guido. Rick is a celebrity, the Avengers are celebrities, I'm sure that they've crossed paths at one point. But just in case they haven't, let's go ahead and build a beacon to let the Avengers know exactly where we are. I mean, let's not forget that I'm the one hiring the Avengers, so technically, I'm the hero here. Alright Guido, so this is what we need to do to summon the Avengers to help with this fight. We need to build ourselves a satellite beacon that will narrow down our location within the multiverse and allow the Avengers to teleport here and help us fight those pesky aliens. Now for this beacon, we need three things. We need a charged battery, a metal frame to house the beacon in, and some kind of geographical location data to narrow down our location, like a GPS or a sat-nav, which I think are the same things. Oh, and one more thing before I forget, we need you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Who are you talking to? Um... No one, Guido. Don't worry about it. All right, first things first. We need a charged battery. Now, where exactly did we do that? It was, oh yes, it was in this little mini-verse. So if I go ahead and pull this lever, we should be able to, oh yeah, oh yeah. I forgot about that. We now have the battery charging console right in front of us. Let's go ahead and select the large battery. We need to go ahead and charge this up. And this should be easy enough. Do I go ahead and pull this to get started? I'm not too sure. No, wait, doesn't it kind of do it by itself? Because nothing seems to be happening right now. That will kind of get us out of here, but there's nothing, there's nothing telling me to start or anything. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, now I'm remembering it. Okay, so we twist this. 
And then we've got to pull this down. Okay, I'm getting back into the swing of things. It is going very slowly right now, though. Don't worry, though, Guido. It for sure heats up over time. By the end of this, we're going to be like an octopus, kind of throwing our arms everywhere, doing all sorts of stuff, all to charge that battery universe up. So let's do something like this. And we've got to remember, we are doing this for the Avengers. If we kind of displease them, they'll probably find me and they'll probably kill me. I actually remember one time at a party, I accidentally spilt a drink on Thor's cape and he almost beheaded me. But I think we're good now. I think we're cool. It's just, you know, hero things. Okay, we do something like this. Boop that, twist that, boop that. Oh gosh, this is very hard. We've already got one mistake, which is not good, but we should be able to pull this off, I think. Uh, there we go, excellent. Whew. That was a little bit nerve-wracking. I kind of guessed that the thought of Thor coming back to behead me kind of scared me into uh, being put under a little bit of pressure. But that is one charged up battery. We'll save that for later. Next, we need the metallic housing unit. So let's go ahead and take this. And I actually think there's some secret here. I think if we throw this down, oh yeah, that's the thing. The spirit's waiting in there. Well, it doesn't mean we still can't use that car battery, right? Car battery? Uh, oh dear. We may have to use something else. Let's see here. We do have this box right here, which is just straight up gasoline. If we just like empty the gasoline, Okay, no, this is gonna take a while. Fine, if we just keep the gasoline in there, but make this metal, then that could definitely work as our housing unit. Now we just need something metallic. Uh, the mace, I think if we combine it with that, it will make, uh, it will accidentally make like this on a stick, which is definitely not what we want. Although it would be pretty cool to have a spear. I could be like, I am the gas king. This flask though, I think we can combine with this to make a metallic housing unit. So let's Let's go ahead and do that. Get rid of that alien poop. Do something like this and we should have... Yes, we do. I wonder if the gasoline is still in there. Yes, it is. Well, that can only help us later on, right? Hey, Guido, would you like a drink? It's on me. <laughs> he has no idea. Here you go, buddy. Enjoy. That was delicious. What the heck is wrong with you? All right, metallic housing unit acquired. I'll put this here for later. Now we need some kind of GPS and every so often we should see a car come by and I'm kind of thinking of charging out there, trying to just rip it straight out of the car. Don't be ridiculous. Oh really, dude? Okay, look, I, I promise you it's gonna be fine. I'm very athletic. I'll be able to catch the cars before they know it. And hey, hey, stop right there. Oh, never mind. Okay, hey, 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 whoa! No, yep, that happened again. There must be something else we can do. Guido, do you know anyone else who has a car? I actually think that Rick does. No, no, don't be so ridiculous, buddy. He does not have a car, okay? But wait, I've just had a brainwave. Do you know who does have a car? Rick! Any second now, buddy, there he is. Hey, hey, Rick, how's it going? Hey, do you mind if I borrow your... Car? Hey Morty, how's it going? You don't look very pleased to see me. Um, hi random girl whose name I don't know. Okay, I need to borrow your stuff for a second. Let me just go ahead and grab this. All right guys, don't be alarmed, but I'm coming over. Hey, how's it going guys? Long time no see, how you doing? Hey, nice to meet you pretty lady. Uh. Oh gosh, I am so sorry. My apologies guys, but I need to reach back here and yep, there's my screw. Why are you sat on like a bomb or something? What the heck's going on there? Uh, regardless, it's fine. Okay, let me see if I just kind of screw around with this. There we go. Oh my gosh, it's getting all blue with the electrons and stuff. I just, there we go. And, ah, ah. Okay, perfect. We managed to grab that GPS. I'm all done now, guys, but, uh, hey, if you're ever back in town, make sure you text me on... Oh, you're texting someone else? Who exactly are you texting? Excellent, Guido. That is a GPS now acquired. We have all three items. Now it's time to just put them together. All right, buddy. 
Ah, there we go. We managed to fix ourselves up a signal beacon. Now all we need to do is bring this to the satellite and hopefully we should be able to fix it onto the side and begin to broadcast our signal throughout the multiverse. All right, buddy. Here we go. Can I go ahead and... Oh, yeah. Did I... I may have forgotten my screwdriver, but I'm so strong. I can just rip these things out. There we go. Uh, oh, dear. Yeah, that's not good. I'm just going to kind of like mash this in there. There we go. Do you mind just holding that in place? Uh, you know what? That's good enough. All right. The signal broadcaster is in place. Our location is broadcasting throughout the multiverse. Now, it is simply time to wait for the Avengers to arrive. Do you hear that, Guido? That is the sound of our broadcast going throughout the multiverse. And what the heck? It just got cut off. All right, buddy, that can't be good. What the heck happened? The aliens must have cut off our broadcast signal halfway through. Wait a second. So does that mean that's only half of the Avengers are going to make it through? Am I going to get, like, Thor's bottom half and Black Widow's top half? Say, that actually doesn't sound so bad. Wait a second, Guido. Or what it could mean is that we only got parts of the Avengers through. And when I say parts, I mean weapons, items, armor. Something tells me, buddy, that not all hope is lost yet. Whoa, look at that thing. Now that is awesome. I had to get Meeseeks out for this Guido. With our Iron Man helmet and our Captain America shield, it is time for us to become the heroes we were always meant to be. Can you just, can you just put that on your, there you go, and uh, uh, uh really Meeseeks? Well, you know what Meeseeks, it's not a problem. I don't need you. I will be a one man Avenger. It's time for me to head back to the planet and to stop this invasion once and for all. All right, boys, I'm coming through. I'm not afraid of you. Will I be able to wield this Captain America shield against you? Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But for the time being, it will be by my side as I use these freaking awesome guns against you and destroy you all. Die! Die! Oh my gosh, Guido, this is amazing! I am just blasting every single one of these alien scumbags! Die! All of you must die! Come on, S.H.I.E.L.D., do something! Ah! Uh, oh, I just... I just died. Well, you know what, Guido? Maybe we did enough to scare off the aliens. Hello? Are you an alien? I am the Devil's Secretary, Summer Intern's Robot's Intern. What? All right, this must be some kind of prank call, but hopefully we've done enough to dissuade the aliens for good. Let's see. We could be returning to the apocalypse here, but we are not. We did it, Guido. The shield's mere presence was enough to defeat the aliens and send them packing for good. Although we weren't able to use the Captain America shield, and although Meeseeks kind of just phased through that helmet, we still managed to pull it off. The Avengers may not have been here today, but their power was flowing through me. Oh yeah.